in the last video we created the paddle and the ball and set up our backdrop for our pong game the next thing we need to do is to put some programming into the ball so we've clicked on our ball here it is here and we're ready to put some code in so the first thing we need to do is to click on a, an event and it's going to be when the game is started or when the green arrow is or green rather flag is ticked we're going to position the ball so we go to the motion and we want to go to now it's on 1692 which is basically where we want it that will do so that's fine then we want to um, set the next control control to wait until so wait until and we want to wait until it touches the red line so how do we do that well we go to sensing you might remember on the maze game we use this touching color now remember we have to get this exactly the same color as the red so we click on the color we go to the eyedropper and we go to the red line and click it so we've got exactly the right um, red there and then what we're going to do from there is to stop the game the game is ends if the if the ball touches the red line the game ends so that's it all right now we need to also then indicate what happens to the ball when it touches the edges of the screen which it should just bounce off or the edges of the stage rather and also what happens when it hits this paddle here so what do we do the next thing we put in is another event so at the start again of the game we want a forever loop so we want this to do forever go to control forever loop and then if on the edge bounce so we want that to bounce off the edge so we can go here and just scroll down a little bit here and it says if on the edge bounce in other words if it hits the edge of the stage it bounces off we need to put how much to move and we'll say move 20 steps so that's when it hits the side of the stage it will bounce off and move 20 steps away the second thing we need to do is to um, work out the paddle so what what happens when it touches the paddle so again it's going to be from the start of the game is our green flag again and a forever loop because you want to keep checking if this is happening then we're going to use an if statement <clears throat> and we want to check the sensing and if it's touching now we'll if it's touching now it says mouse pointer here that's not what we want but if you click the down arrow it says if click the paddle right so what happens when we click the paddle well we want to point it in a direction opposite to the paddle so how do we do that we go up to motion we say point in a direction now we need to replace this with something else and we're going to put an operator in here because that's how we can subtract things and we're going to choose the subtract operator there we have it here now 180 degrees is exactly opposite the um, the 
angle it hits the paddle on and then sensing uh, rather in motion that is if we go down scroll down a little bit it actually has the direction so if we slide direction across here and then drag this into here then it means it's going to be pointing in the direction opposite to where it's hit the paddle which will make it bounce off of course we want it to move a little bit so we're going to move and we'll start it moving one step we can always speed it up if we want to make the game more challenging or something like that and then we need it to also turn in a random direction so what we want to do is turn the certain degrees and again we go to operators we want to pick a random set of degrees and that will be from negative 20 to positive 20 degrees we'll pick a random number of degrees in that range and then what we want to do is we want it to pop so whenever it hits the paddle we want to hear a pop sound so we click on power uh, we click on our sound and we click on start sound pop okay now um, <clears throat> you may also uh, need to adjust the angle of the ball so if we click on the ball and the direction we can see at the moment it's facing this way we probably want it to face something like that and we can you can play with the directions on where it probably starts best once you have done that then we can start uh, moving our ball along so let's just try this out and see what happens so here's our ball you can see it's bouncing around now that moves very fast so it's challenging you can sort out maybe how you can change the speed and also how you can um, add, change the angle of the ball bouncing as well so that it might be somewhat different um, to, the ways to do that would be to change this number here so perhaps the angle wasn't as sharp or uh, and also um, you can certainly change this so it changes um, speed and then you may even want to change how far it jumps off the side to slow it down so that is how to make the basic game there are going to be some challenges for this game and the challenges are and they will be in the actual classroom lesson is how to change the speed of the ball and I've given you some um, some uh, tips there change the backroom color of the baseline and then change the coat to suit that a code to suit that add things to collect so as the ball moves around and you move it with your paddle have it collect things and maybe um, uh, add up what the has you can also uh, see what happens when you adjust the angle of the ball and then make the game more uh, challenging and then you can even add a score to the ball so that every time it hits the yellow ball it gets a score uh, and uh, you can then also make a high score then the more challenges after that will be instead of having a baseline you'll have a second paddle and the second paddle would be either um, it would be uh, controlled by the computer 
but it will also then act more like a human. So if it's a computer, it'll probably hit every time, but how can you make it so that it makes mistakes and therefore you can beat it with your paddle? And obviously you might move the position of the paddle if you've got two, one on this side and one on that side. That's up to you, but there are a number of challenges that will be written in and this is for you to have a go at and see how successful you can be in designing the paddle game. Good luck with that.